Good morning, this is Micah Mitchell with Madison County Weather Updates giving you a very quick outlook on today and a little bit over the weekend. Um, coming up on 6 a.m., we can see that there's a lot of precipitation down here south of I-70. The northern parts of the state are pretty well uh, dry with just a couple of passing sprinkles. And that kind of trend should continue for the rest of the day with, with this being mostly dry pretty much all day and really most of the evening. So for the most part, Friday night football looks pretty good. Take a look at the NAM 3K model here and uh, at precipitation. And we can see kind of, again, the patchy nature of things throughout the day. And we get on, you know, through the day just pretty much dry. We get on into the evening, we'll have the initial cold front come through. This is going to be, you know, in the overnight hours. And we can see the maybe some rumbles of thunder coming through. But just very patchy with the at main front. Then Saturday also looks predominantly dry until we get into Saturday evening and very early hours of Sunday, and that's when the main push of uh, precipitation will push through. And even at that, the worst of it gets through here by, you know, just after daybreak on Sunday morning. And then throughout the day, there will just be kind of, pat, you know, pesky showers throughout the day. Another piece of energy will come through late Sunday into Monday and uh, bring us some more just kind of hit and miss showers. So it's not going to be a total washout. Uh, by any stretch of the imagination. One last thing before I get off of here is this is the European model and it continues to show the possibility for some snow swinging through uh, the area from uh, Halloween afternoon through the early morning hours of Wednesday. And this would be uh, just as the energy pushes through, it's uh, with an upper level low and just a, just a weak piece of energy. So. Could some place get either grass whitened up? Yeah, it's possible if it holds together this well. And um, behind it, some patchy snow flurries as well. I wouldn't personally wouldn't count on any more than just some um, maybe our first flakes of snow for the season, maybe some a little bit of sleet. But we'll see as it gets closer whether there's any type of grassy accumulation possible or not. This is Mike Mitchell with Madison County Weather Updates. Thank you.